My name is Greg Gabor, and I'm a professor of physics and optical science at UNC Charlotte. I love cats, and I love physics, and I love history. I first learned about the falling cat problem by just browsing old scientific journal. Physicists have been studying how cats land on their feet and trying to figure out the problem, going back even to the time of Isaac Newton. But they're one of the few animals that we know of that can actually do this writing reflex and flip over and land on their feet. People seem to be still trying to figure out how exactly a cat's brain allows them to do what they do. What you can see in this video is the cat's leaping up to try and grab at, I think, a piece of snow. And as it does, it starts to flip over backwards. And what the cat can do in this situation is it counter-rotates the front and back halves of its body in order to provide an overall change in its orientation. Imagine my hands represent the front and back of the cat, and then the cat can bend at the waist, and it can counter-rotate the front and back halves of its body, and then open back up so now that it's right side up. It's known as the bend and twist maneuver. When you look at the falling cat problem, it turns out that the mathematics involved in it is the same mathematics that appears in a lot of very profound areas of physics, including quantum physics, optics, which I study, as well as even the motion of the Earth. And the falling cat problem can be a really lovely introduction to those deeper, more challenging problems and understanding how things work in those areas.